In this video, we're going to take a look at the d average function. In the previous video, video we looked at the d sum function. And uh, if you'd like to find out where this data comes from, um, I explain how to do that in the d sum video. Uh, it just comes from the help feature here in Excel. So, uh, so here's our data and uh, here's our database and here is our criteria range for uh, determining what rows we want to select. Okay. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to use the uh, d average function and before we do that let's review the average function. So um, let's put average profit here and let's go and uh, right align that so we can still read it. And my average profit is going to be the average here. And I want all these numbers here, but I don't really want those two blank ones. So I'm going to just take the mouse and drag it over the ones that I want, which is G8 to G13. And then hit Enter. And it tells me that the average profit up here was $84. And there's another way to quickly verify this. If I just drag the mouse over those six numbers, uh, whenever you select numbers in Excel, it always computes three values for you down here on the status bar. Uh, the average of those numbers that you've selected, uh, the count of those numbers that you've selected, and the sum of the numbers that you've selected. And I'm doing the average, so I should get 84, and I do. Okay. Well, sometimes you may not want to find the average of all of your data. You may want to find it just for some of the data. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the apple trees. Okay, so these are the apple trees, and I want the average of these three numbers right here. So if I add these three numbers together, uh, I can't use this anymore because it's also adding in all these numbers here. But uh, if I add these three numbers together, uh, I get 225, and if I divide that by three, I should get 75. So the average for my apple trees is $75. So let's go down here and let's do uh, average profit for apple trees and again we're going to right align that so that we don't wipe it out when we put our formula in so what I want here is the d average function not the average of everything but the average for those rows in the database where a certain rule is satisfied in this case our rule is going to be tree is apple okay so let's put the cursor back here in g17 and let's go and um, go to our formulas tab and there is no book here for database functions or here so we have to go click on insert function and I want the um, database functions and I want D average which happens to be the first one click on OK and um, if you've watched the DSUM video, uh, this stuff should look very familiar. It's the exact same data. We have to provide it with the database. We have to tell it uh, which field it is that we want to determine the average of, and we have to tell it a rule for picking out the rows from the database. So that'd be these two cells up here. So let's first start off with the database. The database is here. And you always include the column heading so it knows which column is which. The field that I want is uh, the profit column and I can type the word profit I can with quotation marks around it I can put column 5 because it's the fifth column of my table or if I just click on profit like this uh, that will give me the value profit with quotation marks around it as well and then I need to provide the criteria range and this is basically just doing uh, an advanced filter and so if you haven't if you haven't looked at advanced filters yet uh, you need to understand how advanced filters work before you do this and so check out the video on advanced filters. So this says um, pick out every row where the tree is apple and uh, in the profit column uh, in this database and give me the average of those and it should give me 75 and it does. Okay, So that's how D average works. Uh, we'll try just a couple variations on this here. Um, we will First of all, we will give the database a name. Let's click on Cancel here. And let's select our database here. And you can name any range. Just go up here to the name box. And I'm going to call this Tree Table. You cannot put a space in the name. Um, 
you can put letters digits and underscores needs to start with a letter but if you just type in letters all the time uh, you really don't have to worry about what the rules are and it's not case sensitive it doesn't matter if I do a capital T for tree or a capital T for table but it just makes it easier to read if you capitalize each word in the name so that is my range and if I go down here now and try to edit this still has this in here I'm gonna replace that with tree table and watch what happens when I type finish typing the word table yeah, I did not capitalize the second T there but it starts with the six column headings then it goes down to the row with the 18 on it uh, or the word Apple in the 18 and then so on it was five column headings wasn't it? and then the Apple is not a column heading but it's part of my data the next row and if you could see everything here it would show you all of it uh, exact same result uh, the only difference is uh, if you're going to be referring to your database in more than one formula and you've got a big database uh, it'll make your life a little bit easier if you just select the database once and name it instead of having to go back and reselect the database every time you want to apply one of these D functions to it. And the other thing we can change here is we can go to our criteria range and we don't have to just select apple trees. Uh, let's try this one. We can do apple or pear and if I click on OK here now e the apple trees are here, the pear trees are here uh, apple, pear, apple, and if I add all those up, I get 478. If I divide that by, whoops, I do not get 478. I had this one selected too. So apple, pear, apple, pear, apple, and the sum of those is 398. If I divide that by five, I get uh, actually it's not quite 80, but it's rounding off here to the nearest uh, whole number, and uh, it's actually 79 dollars and 60 cents. So let's just uh, right click on that and format dollar sign and there we go and that's how d average works